great grief was just on the side. I lived up in Dixon I know Canyon. Exactly where that, yeah. You know, I live very Shelton. close to Casa Vega. Oh, I love Casa Vega. By the way, I, why wouldn't you? Because the margaritas there are amazing. I think it's the best Mexican restaurant in I, California. Traditional I, for traditional Mexican. I haven't been there in a million all, years. Are we all set? It doesn't what? the uh, vivid, whole uh, vivid world... Uh, it's very close. They hang in there, though. They're, sure. they're all over there. So we're now, instead of talking about Independence Day, we're going to talk about Casa Vega in Sherman Oaks, which is a great restaurant. It sure is. And I believe, because I used to live near there, so I would go there. And I believe, isn't it written that that's the place, the best place to have an illicit affair? Right. If you're wanting to go to some place that's dark, it's very dark in there. Dark. And a lot of the uh, actresses and actors from the adult film world apparently uh, frequent Casa Vega. It's, you say apparently, but you basically seem to know. I've seen them there, uh, <laughs> and, and I could be wrong, but I thought I recognized. Oops. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, I have to start by saying, and I really mean this, um, and I don't mean to go on a tangent, but uh, Next Generation is one of my all-time favorite shows. So, Thank sir, you. it is a real honest-to-God pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm delighted to talk to you. And, I, and that's not necessarily true, but I'm, I'm still here I am. Right. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, uh, you're also okay. No, just kidding. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I like, I like, I like, I like anything that goes with. Yeah, you're, you're okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally. You know, today's actually a real highlight. I'm, I'm really big fans of both of your work. Um, one of the, uh, one of the things that I think we can all agree is that Roland Emmerich can blow up the earth like nobody else. He's he's, he's, he's unbelievable. A great, he's a master. He really is. He like, is. Uh, he is the Hitchcock of that genre, really. Or the Orson Welles or the Orson of that Wells. genre, or the uh, the um, uh, Renoir of that genre, of that genre, or in ways the uh, John Ford of that genre. Yes, or the Coen Brothers of that genre, right. the Buster Keaton of that genre, right? Or the Scorsese I of that Buster genre. Well, that's an actor. Now he's gone yeah. into. Oh, a I'm, I'm mixing it up. I shake and bake. Sure, you're, you're Keaton sure directed. Well. What's shake and bake from? That's that's a line from a movie. Funny, funny movie. Recent yeah. comedy. Want me to tell you? I know you know. No, because you're a, Give me a hint. Um, John C. Riley. John C. Riley. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Sasha Baron Cohen. Uh, were there a movie with John C. Riley and John? It's Sasha? a little NASCAR esque. NASCAR esque. Yeah, maybe. A Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights. Exactly. Thank you. Here we go. And he goes shake and bake, shake and bake, and that's the, what they use, what the two of them use. <laughs> you know, he always agrees to come in second, John C. Riley. So shake and bake. He kind of gets other people off their tail, uh -huh. so that Will Ferrell can kind of go. It's and, a very funny film. It's funny, isn't it? I like that. I, but I want to jump into talking about destruction of the earth because let's be honest here. Roland, every movie seems to up the ante, and one of the reasons why this movie, the footage we saw today, looked so cool is he has added modern day effects to the Independence Day story. Right. And so when you guys saw the footage today and what you know about the story, what do you think audiences are going to, what can they look forward to? I, I tell you what, I, and this is honestly the truth, I had never seen a lot of this stuff because I haven't seen the movie, none of us have really, but, well you've seen more of it than I, I have, little, yeah, I saw but a rough cut. I saw more of it today in that that clip than I've ever seen. Yeah, and, and the stuff that I saw, they were just doing, they're madly like uh, shoemakers, I, 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 elves, getting the special effects done in time. Yeah, That's a big I, deal. Honestly, I couldn't breathe while it was on. I was really like something, holding yeah. my breath. It was just so exciting. It is and, fun uh, to see yeah. what they can do. It's fun to see. It's going to be something, yeah. That's their intention, not only to make a story in the same vein of love, love fest and a world united, you know, across religious and beyond religious and political boundaries. Would now that we've had this war. the same oeuvre as... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as uh, but it's a love fest. It's a love fest and a, a, yeah. under hard, a hard, stressful, you know, battle royale is people coming together and the precious planet and the precious species that we are. But now you're right, enhanced by uh, these effects effect. yeah. and even more of a royale in the battle. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's a it's the big biggest battle and the biggest destruction. The last time we lost, you know, the White House and all those and landmarks and blah blah blah, blah and big cities. And they tell us now, um, like three billion people were lost. So that's a heck of a thing. Film. That's like the biggest yeah. war ever in the history of the world. But now, bi bigger, big, big, bigger. bigger. I'm, I'm curious for both of you, this is one of those mega budget, big tentpole movies that I would imagine is a challenging shoot. Uh, is there a day or two that you're always going to remember from the making of this? That's an interesting question. A day or two? Uh, there's one I remember really? vividly, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and it was, I think it was the first day I shot. Um, we did, we did, it was, all the cast was there, it was the end of the movie. And uh, 
all of the cast was there, and we did this 17-hour day of shooting so much stuff, it was crazy. And we came back on Monday, it was a Friday, we came back on Monday, and they said, we're gonna start over again with that scene because Roland looked at it and he didn't like the way the set looked. And so over the weekend, they had redone the set, and relit everything. It looked a hundred times better, but it didn't occur to me on Friday but that's Roland. He's a, he really wants it right. And uh, so we reshot everything and it was better. He had a Dean Devlin said, uh, gee, I'll tell you, I've known, you know, with whom he created the first one and on, on this one too. So I've known uh, Roland all these years and many, all these wonderful movies. I've never seen him with such a fire in his belly. And he, uh, uh, you know, for sure was a force of nature. We worked all every day, 16 hour days, and he was the driving force. And he has in this uh, kind of movie, Final Cut and uh, all that in a kind of uncommon way and uh, and could do like Woody Allen does, like, hey, let's reshoot this, let's do that, but not on this scale. I don't know if anybody else does that where he does this kind of thing. It was, I don't know if anybody knows about that yet, but that was a heck of an eventful day, yeah. It was. He said, let's do the whole thing again, yeah. yeah. I'm out of time with you, but I have to ask each of you an individual question. Uh, I'm still looking forward to the next stop motion Wes Anderson movie, and I believe you are recording the voice as we speak. I did. I haven't talked about much about that publicly. I don't know if I can, can but yeah, I did. I, he's, I love him. Did uh, Life Aquatic 10 years, and then Grand Budapest Hotel. I just adore him and was lucky enough to be, do a little something in this next one. Yes, me and Brian Cranston and Ed Norton, uh, you know, have, uh, we, we do some voices for, for some dogs, and there's some stop motion, which I love. I do love, I love Ray Harryhausen and all those, you know, that kind of stuff, and his way of, you know, doing, I love what he does. Yeah, it's Fantastic be Mr. Fox is amazing. I loved it too, yeah. My, my last question for you, uh, and I have to ask it, as such a, I'm such a fan of Trek. Uh, they're doing a new TV show in January with Brian Fuller show running. Right. What's your reaction to them finally getting this, sh this thing going? I was going to swear, well, but this thing going again. You know, I'm looking at, at the people they've lined up to work on it. Now, JJ just came aboard as a producer. Uh, and you've got Brian Fuller, who's fantastic. Uh, 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 what's the guy's name who, um, wonderful writer, director, who did Search for Spock and oh, uh, talking, Nicholas Meyer. Nicholas Myers attached to it now, and I'm looking at this a pedigree of this show. I, th I it can't help but be wonderful. I think it's going to be fantastic. It, it, I'm so I need a weekly fix of Trek. I'm so happy it's coming back. Yeah, I, I Sincerely, think, I think most of the fans feel that way, and and I honestly think it's going to be great. I do too. I have to wrap there, but I'm going to say I'm definitely going to talk to you guys again at the junket. Thank you so much for giving me your time. So Thank nice you. to talk to you. Enthusiastic, respectful, and wildly knowledgeable, knowledgeable. And, and articulate. Yeah, that yeah, very, makes exactly. it very much fun. And excellent mail work. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing the site for 11 years, and uh, it's, it's kind of taken off. And I, I, I'm not good at a lot, but I think I'm good with movies. Yeah. I, I and do, do you too. think this is the best day you've ever had? I gotta be honest with you, I'm really legitimately fans of both of your work, yeah. so it's days like this that as like a fan, I always view myself as like a fan that got left in the room, yeah. so it's just fucking cool to talk to you guys. So yeah. much. Where do you yeah. live? Where's your, where, where's your place? I'm in the valley, well, uh, near, near, near Casa oh, Vega. That's right. Yeah, well, you gotta come to hear our jazz band. Have you come to Rockwell? I play a jazz gig every week in Los Angeles at a place called Rockwell in Los Feliz. Oh, I'm familiar with Los Feliz. So come, just go Google Rockwell and see when our band is playing and tap me on the shoulder. I when you're there, you'll, I hear he's you'll get a kick tremendous. out of it. We play a movie game. We play trivia movie games, too. I, I gotta be honest, he told me he actually doesn't want you going yeah. because you're kind of a diva when you get there. Well, it's true. I oh, want to take I, over. I would love nothing more than for him I to gotta, come. Right, I got, I, you guys gotta go. Thank okay. you so much for your time.